Saturday Social is powered by EA Sports FIFA 23 with PlayStation. This is Ask the Browner. We ask you guys at home to send in your questions on the Sky Sports social media accounts for this man right here, Kevin. Over 10,000 questions sent in so in long. two days. So uh, I've tried to narrow them down. Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. First and foremost, which player shocked you the most the first time you ever played against them? Maybe like Sebastian Kiel, the Dortmund midfielder. Yeah. You know, there's players that I eventually played against because I didn't really know the players, even though they were big for their teams, but nobody spoke about them. So you're like, oh, I can do this. And then you play against them. You're like, mm, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Love it. Uh, the next one. If you had to make a team of the same player 11 times, who would you pick and why? I don't know, maybe Vieira or something, because he just can do all of it. Yeah, but... how would you think Patrick Vieira doing goal though? It's pretty tall, though, <laughs> pretty so tall, actually, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's that a bad of a shout. Uh, the next question. Who would win in a one-off game? The current City eleven or the Centurions? It would be very entertaining, I guess. Yeah. Um, I enjoy playing in both, so I'm, I, I'm lucky to be that long so I could play with both. I, I, I cannot pick one, one of them. How does Phil Foden compare to the most talented youngsters you've ever played with? Oh, he's, he's one of the best. He is. You know, I've been with Phil, well, I think since that year, he's about 16, 17 when he was playing. And obviously you, you see that evolution that every player goes through, you know, that little awkward in the beginning and you don't yeah. know how to handle. And the more you play, you get more into your, your, your way of playing. And now he's like, he's a fully squad player, you know, he's one of the stars in the team now. And, He's still so young, so it, it, it's, it's scary to see how much he's won and how much he's, he's already accomplished as a player and only being 22, I guess, so still got a, a long way to go. Will we ever see the return of the Kevin De Bruyne youth team haircut? Uh, a lot of people had that uh, back in the day. Uh, put the pan on top, cut it. <laughs> Was that what happened that day? No, it no, no. Pan job? no, it's just the way that my hair goes. I love Honestly, it. it's not, not great, but hey, I rocked it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring that back, man. Uh, okay, next question. You worked a lot with Mikel Arteta. Does it surprise you to see the job he's done at Arsenal? No, not really. Obviously, I see a lot of similarities with the way that we play, but yeah, that's definitely. always been his style. So I think when he stopped playing football and he had the opportunity to come here, I think it was for him also a good learning school. And then obviously we had great years. So I saw an evolution from the beginning of Mikel. Then uh, after three years when he left, you know, yeah. in the beginning is like he's adapting to the way, but then he's like getting more and more into his role. And I think we also saw that he had a lot of ambition and that when an opportunity comes, he will he will take that. and. I think it's nice to see also that he got the time from Arsenal because yeah. that's that's a very difficult thing. And that's rare, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for him that it, it's going well because obviously you want people to do well. Hopefully they will just not be good enough for us, but... <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, who would be better, Max Verstappen playing football or Kevin De Bruyne driving an F1 car? Uh, I saw you recently with this yeah, car. Well, I think probably Max would be better at football. I think driving an F car, uh, F1 car <laughs> is really difficult. I don't know. I've seen a video of Max playing football, the crossbar challenge, and I think you might well have him, Kevin, if, mm. if you jump in the car. What's your driving skills like? Oh, very good with a normal car, but um, <laughs> an F1 car, I would love to drive one, but I think that's really difficult. We'll try and set that up. Sky Sports will try and set that up. Uh, next one. If you were stuck on a desert island, which three people would you choose to be stuck with? If I have to choose for the city mates, yeah. I would say Jack, Carl and Nathan. We can enjoy ourselves. Like Jack and <laughs> Carl are re really funny. And yeah. with Nathan, I can be also normal. So he's a good mate, mate of mine. So that's the one I pick in this team. So uh, it's a good mixture of everything. If it was the last chance of the game to win the league, would you rather it fell to Erling Haaland or Sergio Aguero? Sergio has done it, doesn't it? He's done it. He has done it. You know, the fact that I saw that Sergio has done it, I have to pick Sergio, but Erling can change my decision maybe in a couple of years. Yeah. If, he, if he wins us the league or the Champions <laughs> League, hey, I'm going to change my, my answer. I'm saying that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which you might well do, you might well do. I mean, where does he rank? Because obviously you've played with Sergio Aguero and some amazing strikers yeah. from Lukaku for the national team. 
Well, I've been really lucky, you know. Yeah. I've, I had <laughs> I had some really good strikers. I, I played with Torres, Eto, you know. I think obviously, if I have to choose, I think Serge is number one for me now. Yeah. I played so long with him, I had a great connection. I think if I play another three, four years, that can obviously, obviously change. I, I can just say, like everybody saw, the way Erling started it, it's been incredible. He's a midfielder's dream because the way that he moves in the box, he's, he, you know when there's an opportunity, he's going to be there. And I think that's the only thing as a midfielder you can ask of your striker, so the rest is up to him. Yeah, how's it been with having like a out and out number nine? Because obviously in recent years you played more without one, but yeah, but it's so quickly. It's, it's, it's not that big of a difference. I know people make make a lot of it, but we we played with Gabi before, yeah. and he's a striker. He plays in Arsenal, and now yeah. everybody says in Arsenal he's a striker, and before he doesn't, so I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I played with Sergio for many many years, so. Um, play with strikers before another team so uh, you know you adapt to it re really quickly and you know it's it's been going really well next question very simple most famous person you've ever met maybe drake no i just dropped that just name no no I, 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 I met him i had a picture and went to what a concert guy. so i would say drake because the the, the yeah. global stature what was drake like was he cool he was, nice he was, I, well i didn't say too much i mean i think he was busy meeting hundred thousand of people did you know who you were I think so. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, I think so. For sure. Def <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Uh, last couple of questions then. True or false? The first time you met Pep Guardiola, he told you you could be one of the five best players in the world. Maybe not the first time, but one of the first meetings wow. I had there. What a confidence boost that must have been the first time meeting such a legendary coach. Yeah, it's not something that I expected at the time because I, um, I think when he came, it was after the Euros 2016. Yeah. So I was I was much later than, than the rest. So um, yeah, it's one of these meetings where you meet each other and then in a way he tried to, to push me to get to a better level. And yeah, he said something with these words and I thought like, oh, okay, that's that's nice. There's a lot of pressure, but I'll, I'll take it. Last question then, and it's the toughest one of the day. Belgium winning the World Cup or Man City winning the Champions League? Belgium winning the World Cup. Wow. Could happen this you could do both i could season. do both well, well let's take both but i don't know you know belgium is so small and to win a world cup it happens once every four years you, you only have like three times the opportunity four times if you're lucky so if i can choose now i'll choose the world cup kev love that thank you so much